yo, what up, what up, what Earth, up, Earth, I, I told Omar this. We did a podcast about this, and I told him, look at Alex Sheik is changing the game. You guys, yeah. keep it up. Keep it up. Not yeah. not showing up to fights, not buying fights. Oh, he, oh you guys, okay, we'll do this. You want to watch a fight at 3 o'clock in the afternoon? Okay, we're going to do that because yeah. Vegas, America, get your shit together. Okay. Can't do it, bro. I'm not going to that. I'm not going to a fight. <laughs> walk past, but I hear sex back I've been, and all. I've been to Bahrain. I've been to Dubai three times. Stupid. I hear that's the love, man, going on while you're at the fight. <laughs> oh shit. Man. No, no. Now, hey, listen, we, I'm. I'm just joking, man. But I mean, I really don't want to hear somebody's snack smacking off their legs. But shout out for Turkey for infusing this uh, this infusion of money and entertainment. Um, this the entertainment value is. It, I yeah. mean, it's it's, it's nothing that compares to it. Um, but hey, you're not coming over here and taking over, bro. We got we got kids mm -hmm. that ain't been born yet that'll beat the brakes off of everybody you got over there. <laughs> we it's different here. Blame out. And so, uh, I mean, let's let's continue on this this topic because there was actually a fan mailbag question about this, so we might as well intertwine it here. Um, shout out to the Middle East uh, middleweight who submitted this question, um, uh, but they ask about what are your thoughts on the historic uh, president set by Turkey Al Sheikh by bringing all these fights that we that the public really wants to see so what are our thoughts on that mailbag question anyone that wants to go continue on to what we were saying okay hey, i can jump in there essentially i think it's a good thing but if you look in the annals of history and really i focus on the history of the sport of course there have been pioneering promoters who have brought the big fights that individuals want to see i'm thinking about the likes of tex rickard from way back in the day there he brought the big fights tom mccrary you have a number of others. Now, this is going way back, but at the end of the day, they were all centered and geared towards the best fighting the best, and they would do what they needed to do to bring those two individuals together in contest. Now, I think where boxing kind of sway, or think about Don, hold, before I get that, Don King, I mean, put mm -hmm. on some top-level fights that saw the best fighting the best. You think about what he, him being tied to Ali, of course, in uh, the Foreman fight. I mean, then this is in unique places, of course. Rumble in the Jungle, Zaire, Africa, all that good stuff. So mm. there have been those over the years. So even going back from deeper history, what I'm thinking about. But I will give it to oh. Turkey Alashish. He has funding that he can put behind it. You know what they say? Money talks. Ultimately, money does talk. I don't think we would have mm -hmm. seen a Jared Anderson versus Martin Bacoli were it not for the financial aspect of it, because I don't think that was going to be shelled out. And I don't know what the numbers were by Bob Arum or Boxer, who I believe Bacoli is with, B-O-X-X-E-R. And it's one of those things where when you have the right money in the fold, that can make a lot of things happen. And I like the fact that they have this infusion of funding. And of course, we are able to see some of these contests we wouldn't otherwise see. This was one of the most stacked cards just in general that we've seen in the last 20 plus years, I would say, you know, because it was pretty much solid from top to bottom, especially on paper. We could argue back and forth as far as how the fights turned out, but on paper, this was a super stacked car, yep. and I like where they're going with that. Saudi Arabia is in an interesting place because, of course, they're continuing to try to expand their overall outreach. They have all this funding built up, this cachet is, and such, and they've been making strides in order to kind of just catch up with some of the societal norms we may see here in the Western world, though they haven't gone full-fledged there. But because of such, they started to embrace some of these outside things. And I think it's a good thing for the sport and for the boxing fans as far as us being able to get a view of a number of these fights in a number of these matchups. I guess the only sort of drawback is that, of course, it is 
invoke new life into the world of pay-per-view, of course, and we now pay for subscriptions, etc. And then you have pay-per-views on top of that. And I think, and I know Probox talked about this too in a little stream that they did on their YouTube channel, but that's another thing. When you do get these types of types of fights, then of course there is going to be a cost associated with it. And pay-per-views now, you're going to be paying like $75, $80 or more just in general to see an actual pay-per-view outside of other means by which you can actually see the action happen. That being said, I do like this infusion right here, and I think it's going to make more fighters really decide are they in this game for your three rules there, Ernest, legacy belts or the money and I think money. Like I love that shit. I'm, I'm about to jump on the other end of the spectrum. Y'all better get y'all better get what y'all gotta get in before I before I ruin <laughs> what y'all thinking. <laughs> I mean, I mean, Skywalker, you got any extra thoughts? I think it's great, yeah. me personally. But yeah, man, I think it's good. Uh, we we went through this shit with the golfers. If you guys remember, uh, Lyft and PGA. Yeah. Um, you know, in the beginning, mm -hmm. they were it was yep. a big deal. Fucking everybody was pissed. You're not a patriot. You're going over there taking their mm -hmm. money, competing out there in, in Saudi. But uh, now uh, PGA got smart. You know, it's if you don't let them control it and let them just be a partner, right? The, that's the money, right? And hey, let them be a partner. Shit, they make that money, right? It's all about like what we're doing right now. We're all collaborating. Mm -hmm. we're, we're networking. We're live on different networks right now. And uh, I think sometimes that works, man. I think it'll it'll work out. And I think that Turkey al Sheik, you know, I know his English is not that great. You know, you would think he would speak a little better English, but <laughs> but uh, <laughs> no. Nah, but I think he's smart enough to know that that we know that we don't want him taking over the the, the whole sport. You know what I'm saying? We we appreciate him. He likes the love that he's getting because he's making the big fights happen. But I think this will all work out, and, and I, I don't, I, you know, I don't, I don't see no concern. I mean, some would call it sports. Some would call, call it sports. sports. Are you ready for me to do that? Go ahead. Oh no! Oh, no. Oh, no. We're, we're, yeah, we're, 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 we're coming. We're coming I, I got, to you. I got one thing, Ernest. I got one thing, Ernest. I will say this: the NBA wouldn't be anything but without the ABA. The NFL. Wouldn't be That's anything true. without the uh, was it the AFL? Not AFL. The AFL. 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 Yep. Uh, WWE would not be anything without WCW when they merge, even though they were already a factor. But you know, whatever. So, all I'm saying is, I'm all for this. Go ahead, Ernest. <laughs> Man, let me get the special out. Let me flip this thing on his head real quick. Two words: World Fair. You guys, ever heard of that? In the, in the early 1900s, late 1800s, the World Fair shows up. They put up this huge city. They bring out black people and tell everybody they're monkeys. They bring out hairy women. We're talking about some Cirque du Soleil type shit. And you yeah. know what happened during those events? People got kidnapped, murdered, robbed, all sorts of sorcery. So let me say this about what Saudi's doing. It is a takeover. It's make no mistake about it. It's a takeover. Right. Eddie told me six years ago that he was aiming to take it over. This is what this is. This is a takeover. Now let's talk about anybody see the very first thing? Wasn't that like the most spectacular show you ever seen? A 3D musical concert ring rising out of the ground. You know what I mean? I'm about to turn in the egg. Uh, Poppy Chun yeah, you're about to slide off. Ernest X is back, right? So they, uh, they built that entire city and mall and ring stuff in six months. Wow. Six months. Wow. It would take 10 years. To do what they did in six months guess who built that stuff yeah it gets mm -hmm. it gets deep right it's like so a guitar in a at, world at the first fight there mm -hmm. weren't very many women there were there no because women aren't allowed to uncover themselves over there you can't curse you can't drink so this is about image repair Right. Again, you know, I make jokes about not want to hear ball sacks slap off with thighs, but I also don't want to see women being disrespected and violated. I don't want to see those things. Um, I also don't want to see um, I don't want to see I don't want to let them get off with 
taking the sport over, having having some stupid plans to do whatever it is that they're doing. We need this to be we if you're gonna take it over, make the sport fair, make the judging fair, get the PEDs out of it. Right. You know what I mean? Nice. Um put shows on everywhere. Preach. You know, don't just don't just come to America and make pay-per-views and make us pay a hundred while the people in UK don't have to pay eighteen dollars a month or eighteen dollars a year, or you giving it to them for free. But we come, we breaking, we breaking bread over here. Do it the right way. We like that you're trying to force people to fight. That's the way it should be, like any other sport. You know what I'm saying? The next man up, it's not. Oh, I'm gonna pick and choose. No, we want to see if you work your way in the top ten. Work your way in the top ten. You know what I'm saying? And you're up next if, if two and three don't work out. That's how it should be. If he does that, I'm cool with it. But they got a lot of sh they got to fix over there. And it starts with human rights. Yeah. I will say this. I will say this. Hey, that's the other thing. All, all our favorite Cuban fighters, we got human trafficking happening with them too. How do you oh, think yeah. these all players get here? We got people oh. over there to go out to go. You got to kidnap them boys and bring them over here. So on that, hold on, hold on, on, on that, Ernest, I will say this: <laughs> Gary Sheffield said a long time ago, a couple years ago, that uh, the reason why we don't have that many black baseball players is because they can control the Latin Latin baseball players. Yeah, you know, and yeah. what's coming up. So that's that's a caveat to that. And I'll say this: I know Saudi Arabia, they lifted their liquor uh, license. It was like ninety years, like you couldn't drink there, but now you can drink there. But you're 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 absolutely right about that. And and I will. I'm gonna I'm gonna agree with you. I would say just be careful. 90% long as they be careful. Long as because we do we're getting the fights we want to see, but true, we gotta be careful and we need to see the scaling uh as far as the judging uh moving forward. And also, um you saw what Turkey Al Sheikh said about Canelo, I think it was it today or yesterday. Uh basically saying that he'll Turkey uh Canelo doesn't want to work with Turkey, and Turkey's like you just want to do the easy fights. I want you to fight the real people. And he's saying, hey, I want 150 to fight this person. 200 million to fight that person. Right? No, come on, bro. Yeah. Hey, hey, listen, here's here, here's here's one caveat. Hey, if you if you want to do what you want to do in the sport, give Ken a hand up. Where is he? The bop, the mob give him up. The give mobster. him up. The mobster. Give him up. Boy, the Irish mobster. Up there with you. Give him up. The Irish mobster. Well, they're, they're looking for him because they because uh oh. Nonito's my boy, man. They even hit him up. A lot of people, lot of people tired of kidding. A lot of people tired of kidding. A lot of people tired of, of, of him. If y'all don't know, he's an Irish mobster that is sought out by a lot of people. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they want to work. He's interviewing anybody that ever associated with him, like in the sport. Crawford, Crawford's one. Yeah. A lot uh, of people. A lot of, I love Terrence Crawford, but he's one of them too. So we yeah. almost lost the sport over that whole thing. Yep. He's one tied to Pro Bellum, right? Yeah, nope. don't, think for, don't you think for a minute the ABC organization yeah. ain't still on that? Y'all ain't out the water. They gonna I wait till they get that ninety nine percent. They get that ninety nine percent. Tyson gonna, Fury is another one. He's tied to him yeah, too. Fury, you know, a lot of people. Uh huh. So yeah. hey, like I said, man, I'm only I only said to flip it on his head because I care about the sport. I care about people. I don't want nobody to die for my entertainment purposes. Period. And we know that there's some dirty players in the in the, in the game, and we we need them out of there. That's it. Right. That's true. That's certainly true. And I mean, you are completely and absolutely right about the despicable human rights violations that have occurred not only there but in a lot of those uh, Middle Eastern countries that to women and to the LGBT. Oh, yeah, you're good. Uh, LGBTQ community and all of that stuff. Um, uh, and so some some a lot of people call that sports washing, um, right? Him using you, them using their money to cover up, uh, you know, uh, their human rights violations with entertainment, with sports and other things that are going to make people think about the softer side of their personality that they're trying to portray um, out there. Uh, and while it is what? right, while it, while, go ahead. Money laundering. Yeah, money. I mean, there's a lot of things that are yeah. going into it that are very that are very illegal. Um, and yeah. uh, again, we don't advocate for any of those human rights violations at all. Um, but at the same time, we would be hip. I, I at least, and I've said this plenty of times on many of my streams and podcasts, it's hypocritical for me to 
uh, you know, say, oh, Turkey, al Sheikh shouldn't be using their money or the country as a whole shouldn't be using their money to, you know, compensate for things that they may be doing um, evil because uh, they invest into a lot of American companies, all of them that we use day to day, Uber, Disney, Amazon, so on and so forth. So if you are, um, it's not just boxing that is touched by the Saudi Arabian uh, fund, the private investment fund, the PIF. Um, so it, it, it's hypocritical to for those people who are going to say, "Oh, I'm not going to watch boxing." Not saying that anyone here said that, but oh, I'm going to uh, you know boycott or this and that because they're run by the Saudis, like they used to do with the Live Golf that we talked about. And I just think that's hypocritical. Um, so, anyways, any other thoughts on that, y'all? That's deep, All man. Right, but we'll if see. you're a hardcore boxing fan and you're looking at it. You don't really see that, see that man. We we're all vets, you know. Mm. I've been in the Middle East. I was in Afghanistan, Iraq, Ernest and uh, gosh, you know. Um, but yeah, man, it's you know, it's it's a different different culture, different. You know, it's totally totally opposite. Like you were talking about the women not being in there. You know what I'm saying? And uh, yeah, I, mean, I was going to go to the fight, man. Like, listen, when I went to the when Tank went and fought down in Atlanta, oh my God, bro. Me and my wife was like, yo. I mean, all I, I swear I seen about a thousand women that had to the clothes they had to climb in through the neck to get in the clothes they was wearing. Uh, you uh, really? Uh, I want to super like superheroes. Cool. All right. Well, let's move on to the main event. Um, before we get there, just to uh, uh, Clover D had 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 a quote from Turkey Al Sheik. I just want to say exactly what he had said here on on X earlier today. He said that he heard. Well, Canelo said that he respects him, but doesn't like the way that they do business. He said he doesn't care if he respects him. I'm paraphrasing. Um, he says, as for what, why he doesn't like how the way I do business, because I target big fights at fair prices. Um, and he also says, after losing to Bivol, he's been looking for easy fights ever since. Shots fired. Um, and it also says he's not the one that is afraid of fighting Benavidez or Crawford. Shots fired. Part two. Um, anyway, so that was the paraphrasing of what he said today. So, I love it. And uh, I'll just caveat on that just to pay you back real quick. When we're about to go to yeah, the main please. event. But if you look at what Turkey Al Sheik is going to do, he's going to box Kenilo out on all his pay per views because uh, Kenilo is mm. fighting uh, Berlanga, aka Roller Ramirez at 168. He's fighting him on the 14th of September. And also, Turkey Al Sheik is your. You got it, Omar. Turkey Al Sheik is is basically producing the UFC card in the sphere on the oh, same yeah. night. Yeah. So every time that Canelo will fight, uh, Riyadh season will do something probably the same time. That's Similar great. to what that's what, fantastic. What Bud, Bud Crawford and Spencer <laughs> how they had a UFC card same time. They're going to do the same thing to Canelo because uh, his numbers aren't haven't been looking that great. So. Just put that out there. There's some pressure. Right well, that's going to be crazy because yeah. you know UFC is going to have one that same weekend too because UFC is yeah, doing saying, the yeah. same thing to Canelo. Sure. So now you're going to have three big, huge – that's going to be a crazy weekend. No, no, no. no. The UFC is Turkey Al Sheik's thing. Is He's producing – Oh, okay. That's the one they're doing in yeah. the sphere. Okay, got it. Got it. Okay, cool. Yeah, it's going to be crazy. That's the first time the sphere that's is going to have crazy. all about sports in a period, you know? That's so, a fact, yeah. Skywalker. That's a fact. Should be crazy. Hey, Although I the pictures from – one hundred and thirty-one million Mexicans. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> man, Canelo, some a hey, he got a following. But it his does, numbers ain't producing. It doesn't though. matter what we do; he's gonna be able to. He got bro. He do. Do they even make Hennessy in Mexico? Like he's Hennessy oh, yeah. is ah. his, bro. You get yeah. what I'm saying? So Why not like. Tequila? Yeah, he's going to sell out wherever he goes. He's going to get his money. <laughs> Turkey can box him out. You know what I'm saying? Until the Mexican people put pressure, real pressure on him, then he's going to be able to operate the way that he does. Benavidez, you know, I saw a, you know, Ernest, I saw, uh, you know, how everybody likes to grift and like Showbox. I'm, I'm going to name, uh, what's, his, what's his name? Show, show, whatever. I don't care. No time. Yeah, yeah, don't. yeah, so they were like pro against Devin Haney. The pro against now Crawford, um, he did a thing saying, "Oh yeah, Benavidez doesn't deserve a, a title shot against Canelo. Uh, he lost the belt twice." And da, da, da. idiot, do you know not know that he's been a number one contender? He's had the the WBC belt for the last three years. Mm. 
what you're saying is irrelevant. All right, it doesn't make sense. The reason why he would fight a Yurdeman or a, a Ryder or a Mungia or Super G moving up, right? He's been a WBC number one contender since he lost those belts. So, right. a lot of people, a lot of a lot of uh, content creators, they know that they can just say, "Hey, I don't like this person because they know they're getting a lot of clicks and views." And that's the shit I don't I don't accept. I can't do it. I'm with you. Oh. 